State police are asking you to be vigilant on the roadways. The agency says interstate shootings are on the rise across the state. They say Indianapolis is on track to break its record of 55 road rage incidents last year. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson caught up with truck drivers today to talk about this alarming trend. Rodney Peterson has spent 22 years behind the wheel. How often are you seeing road rage incidents as a truck driver? Uh, honestly, at least 10 to 20 times a day. As a truck driver, he says he's seen car after car cut people off or act out. A lot of people frustrated, you know, lanes ending. You got to merge. Don't nobody want to sit. Don't nobody want to wait. So most of it got to do with patience. But that patience has run thin for some drivers. This week, Indiana State Police arrested an 18-year-old for attempted murder after an alleged shooting last week on I-70 westbound in Morgan County. A 22-year-old was arrested Wednesday for his accused role in a road rage shooting on I-70 in Mount Comfort, which is in Hancock County. Police also investigated a second interstate shooting Wednesday, this time on I-65 northbound in Whitestown. We're told a Wisconsin-based truck driver was passing through Indy, at some point was shot in the head on the interstate and is now in the hospital. For someone who spends a great deal of time on the road, that's very concerning actually. Um, as I say, it's, it's a matter of safety for everybody, you know, and it only takes a split second to make a bad choice. And if you let your emotions get the best of you, it's going to happen. Somebody's going to get hurt or killed. ISP says there were 55 interstate shootings for all of 2023, with simple gestures causing many of them. Sometimes they may be uh, tapping the brakes, what we call brake checking. Sometimes people are flashing their 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 headlights at people, and sometimes uh, there was an incident yesterday where a uh, in the shooting, the victim uh, stated that he admitted to uh, you know flipping him the bird, giving him the middle finger. Trooper Cameron Bodema says they're on the rise across the state. He encourages all drivers to add cameras in your vehicle. Most trucks have the dash cams that record and on the mirrors, you know, to show that the cars they cut you off, or even if you at fault. So it worked, you know, it worked both ways. So. It is what it is. It's a tough job. Somebody got to do it. Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. State police say because these shootings can happen so fast, having cameras in vehicles can help capture license plates and the color and model of vehicles, and that can help police in their investigation.